Hello guys, I'm Cambridge English teacher Rory, or Cambridge Rory from studentlanguages.com. Welcome to this video. Let's get going. I want to show you quickly the first page of my CAE course. Uh, this is some really useful information on it, and there are three main sections, general info about the exam, the format of the exam, and then my strategy for how to pass the exam fast. In this section, uh, we talk about how to calculate your exam score because then you can calculate how many more marks you need to pass. Unfortunately, calculating your score is very complicated, but I do break it down for you on this page in this section. There's actually a lot of detail about it, so I'm not going to go through all this information in this video. But go to this page, which you can see here, studentlanguages.com forward slash CAE dash exam. And that will teach you most of this information. And then what I'm going to focus on right now is how to average your score to realize how many more marks you need before you can pass the exam. So let's skip down to that section. So I say this is the easy part, okay, because I basically created a spreadsheet which does these calculations for you. And what you should do is open this document here. And this is a Google Sheets document, but in order to edit it yourself, you actually need to go to File and Download as a Microsoft Excel file. Once you've done that, you can type in the numbers that you want and the formula will already be there. So what you need to do, and you, again, it explains it to you on this page here. To find out your exam score from your practice tests, you should write the number of marks you get on row 22. So let's go down to row 22 here, practice exercise one. If you're planning on doing 10 exercises, you might want to go to this sheet at the bottom, write and calculate your scores where you have 10 practice exercises. But we're just going to do it for one practice exercise for now. So you should write how many marks you got. Okay, so I'm just gonna make these up. Let's say I got, and here it says how many marks are on offer above in row 16. Let's say I got five, maybe another five, maybe a four and a two. Here, again, we can see it's out of eight, eight and 12. So let's say I got a six, a four and a nine, maybe. Okay, and then just keep doing this for all of these. So five, seven, nine, nine, da, da, da. oh, there's one more, eight. So this is the reading then, now we're on to the speaking. Uh, let's say I've got eight marks, eight marks, eight marks, eight marks, eight marks. And this one's out of 25, so let's say we got 15 for that. Finally, the writing, so out of 10, how many marks? I got five, five, eight, and eight. Okay, then go back to the column A area. Follow the instructions in row 28, column C. So row 28, column C. Okay, so I'm just going to put this here while we read this. So it says, use your marks from row 26, which are here, to calculate your Cambridge English score using the individual exam section spreadsheets at the bottom of this document. Okay, so that's down the bottom, the individual exam section spreadsheet. So we've got listening, use of English reading down at the bottom here. So we need to take this number 16 for the listening. It says here, this is the listening. So 16. Let's go to the listening sheet at the bottom. Number of marks awarded, we got 16, which is 172. 172. Back to the first spreadsheet again. Let's type in 172 here. Okay, then we've got use of English. This one, 19. So we go to the use of English sheet at the bottom. 19 is 188.4. I'm going to round that down to 188. For the reading, 35. Go okay, to so this page here where I've calculated all the marks to scores translation. 185.4. So type in 185. Appropriate place here. 
speaking, yeah, 55. Okay. Because the speaking spreadsheet. 55 is 189.7, so let's go with 190 for that. That's the first sheet. 190 for speaking. And finally, writing, 26. Back to the writing paper at the bottom. 26 is 184. Okay. 184. Okie dokie, and this tells us that our total exam score is 183.8. And if you're a good student and you've worked your way through the page I showed you earlier, you will know that you only need 180 to pass. So we've got higher than the amount we need to pass to get the C1 advanced exam certificate at a C1 level. And that's why if you look down here, there's actually a minus figure because we don't need to get any more marks to pass. However, if, for example, we didn't do it as well in the speaking and we only got, let's say, 160 rather than 190, then what happens is this formula updates automatically and tells us we need 11 more points to pass. I'm using the word points because that doesn't necessarily mean marks. Because of the way Cambridge have organised their marking system, 11 points doesn't necessarily mean 11 marks. It doesn't necessarily mean 11 questions. And that's why I say here, there's a difference between marks and scores. So the number of more marks you need to pass in H38, which is here, is actually different to the number of points we are away from, one, from 180 here. Okay, now, as I said, I explain this in a lot more detail on this page, CAE exam. And so the thing that I would really recommend is going through this whole page I'm going to tell you how you can actually really quickly prepare for the exam. A few secret tips there for you. Anyway, I hope this video was useful, and I look forward to seeing you again in another video. Bye for now.